Can you believe that today is the sixth Sunday of Easter and Mother's Day? Yes, Mother's Day. And both of her mothers have passed and have gone to heaven. Yes. But they still take care of us. I'm afraid so, yes. Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Let us prepare for the celebration of Easter and Mother's Day. We sometimes call the church the Holy Mother's Church. We celebrate by praying to the Lord and asking for his support and to help us find peace within and to be ready to reconnect with you. Lord, you came for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, you love us. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, you command us to love each other as you love us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relive in remembrance, we may always hold to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading is a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Peter entered, Cornelius met him, and falling at his feet, paid him homage. Peter, however, raised him up, saying, Get up, I myself am also a human being. Then Peter proceeded to speak and said, In truth, I see that God shows no partiality. Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. While Peter was still saying these things, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who were listening to the word. The circumcised believers who had accompanied Peter were stunned that the gift of the Holy Spirit should have been poured out on the Gentiles also. For they could hear them speaking in tongues and glorifying God. Then Peter responded, can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit even as we have? He ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Join me. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made 
his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness towards the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God. For God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only son into the world. So that we might have life through him. In this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as exhibition for our sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, Alleluia. Join me. Alleluia, Alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, says the Lord. And my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, as the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this, so that my joy may be in you, and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this. to lay down one's life for one's friends. 
You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain. So that whatever you ask the Father, in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I would like to focus today on a specific word. But before I do, I want to talk about my experience I had many years ago at the Diocese of Rochester. Every year, we would have two or three retreats for struggling marriages. These couples felt that they were slowly drifting apart. So this retreat was meant to bring them back together again. This retreat started, I believe, in France and with French-speaking Canadians. This retreat was called Retrovi. This word means to rediscover or to find again. I have an example for you. Two years ago, I went home to Montana and had a wonderful experience meeting different people and long lost friends who I had met 50 years ago. And then I ran into a woman who I had taken to prom my senior year of high school. We had not seen each other, I believe in over 50 years. And when we saw each other, we had the biggest hug. We found each other again. We were reconnected and really enjoyed our time together. But we were so disconnected. We had spread out to different parts of the world. But when we saw each other again, we rediscovered what we had. We had retrovi. That word has two important messages. First, love is not a feeling. 
there are many ways we can sign love. We can fingerspell it like this. Another way help me. This way. And these two ways as well. We can use all these signs every day, right? But this love is not a feeling. The equal sign with the slash through it means not. For example, in math, one plus one equals four. No, I'm wrong. I'm lousy at math, obviously. So what is love? What does it mean? Love equals commitment, a promise. Promise means to continue to have faith. Retrovi is also belief in the sacrament and to show us that the husband and wife are connected and we have this, that same connection to God. Remember in our reading that when we are baptized, we are making a promise to God. We are baptized because we love him. Retrovi helps us to understand love. It is a promise to stay faithful not to divorce or give up, but instead to be humble and to believe. Sometimes divorce happens and it is needed, whether it be from abuse or addiction, and there are times when there is no one to blame. But we try to keep that connection with God and to keep it always. In John's second letter, he explains that we love God and it is good, but it starts with God loving us. God made a promise to love us, no matter what. We know that we constantly make mistakes. We live, we sin in our everyday lives, but it doesn't matter to God because he promised to be with us. Sometimes we disregard our promise. And we think, oh well, I'd rather blame others and stay mad. But God, he still loves us. We pray that the people will keep their promise. Even if they don't like it. That's tough. Love is not easy. I know many married couples who are happy and then, bam, issues arise. Their spouse gets sick or someone leaves, but they push through 
That is love. It is a promise. Love is not a feeling. Feelings come and go, go up and down. Love perseveres and continues. Because just as the letter explains, God is love. Now, I would like you to think about a person whom you love. Who you have made a promise to. Think about all the people you may have made a promise to who you are now disconnected from. Now, think about God and this Easter time and remember his promise. And even though Jesus was crucified and died on the cross, God did not give up on us, never. And we cannot give up on each other. We must stay connected. Amen. Let us pray. First, we pray that we remember God's love for us. May we never forget. We offer this prayer to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayer. For our church leaders, including Pope Francis, that they prioritize love over other things. Love for all people and to continue to teach this, for this is God's command. We offer this prayer to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayer. For those who need love, who need a promise and support. Help them to not be isolated. May our community spread and bless them in the same way God's love blesses us. We offer this prayer to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayer. We pray for those who are ill, whether it be from COVID, cancer, any other illness, that they have trust in God and that they heal in God's time. We pray to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayer. Today, we remember all mothers who are still here with us, and to the mothers who have passed and gone to heaven. We thank God for giving us mothers and for teaching us how to love. We offer this prayer to the Lord. Lord, receive our prayer. For those who have passed, including one of my high school classmates, Ramona Saxer, who passed last week. We pray that those, including our mothers, who have passed, including aunts, nieces, all women, that they rest in peace and may the comfort of the heavens bless the family and friends of those who are heartbroken and know that they will see each other again. We offer this prayer to the Lord. 
Lord, re receive our prayer. God, our Father, we call on our mothers and thank you for the most for blessing us with love. Help us show our thanks by sharing what is within us with each other. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, amen. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Blessed be God forever. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord. Together with the sacrificed offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. It is right to give thanks to the Lord. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this night, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously. When Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of our glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending them down your spirit upon them like dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he first took the bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper had ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink of it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Now, we proclaim the mystery of our faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that by partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Salvatore, our Bishop, and all those who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with all the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, that we may merit to be co-heirs in eternal life, and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray in the way that our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, had taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. May the peace of Christ be with you all, and with your spirit. Christ's peace is here. Let us share that peace with one another.
Ray, peace, I love you. Same to you, Pat. Peace, I love you. Peace to you all. Peace to you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. This prayer is for those of you who cannot receive communion today, but have faith, see and believe. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restored us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, amen. Mass is ended. Go forth with peace in your hearts and give thanks to God for loving us eternally. Thanks be to God.